Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my first video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a box server. Now, there are a few requirements. First, you need to have a server. The server has to be a paper server. Now, I'm just going to create a server by going on a feather launcher on a servers click on this plus and ch choose paper then choose 1.18.2 because it's the only available version for um, that and now I'm gonna be choosing the name to be I don't know box server tutorial server a box server tutorial oops cancel real quick Box server tutorial box server tut dot feather mc dot tg click on create server you can change of course you can customize this and all that I'm gonna make the maximum one uh, to two because I want an alt account for a moderation system at some point but first today we're just gonna make the basic setup so we're gonna click on the create server click on accept and then we have our box server tutorial now you can also just create a server on your own. You can search for a tutorial for that. You just need to make sure that you can access paper and all those plugins for that. Um, else it won't work. So once that's done, uh, we have our um, two server like our server right here. This one's not necessary. Um, well, uh, you're gonna do is start the server. Now, yeah, just click here on start server or run the server. You can also do this with Minehut. It's actually recommended to do it with my heart, but I want to do it on my own like this because I think it's way more fun. So you're going to start the server and it will get you here. Now what we're going to be doing, like you see it's downloading all those things. You just want to click here on open folder. This will take you to the folder of the whole server. Now it's still generating a lot because it's right now the first time starting the server, but yeah. What you then want to do is you want to go get some plugins. The first plugin, which is highly recommended, is the plugin uh, Real Minds. Oops, Real Minds. The, all those links for the plugins will be in the description down below, so you can just go to every link in the description which says uh, required plugins and just download all of them. So this is the first one, RealMinds 1 1.14 to 1.18. Click here on download.jar. Uh, I have one, but I don't really want to see it right now, so yeah, RealMinds1.jar. And then you just want to drag it into your uh, into the folder so we're just going to close this off I'm going to open it again but whatever and you just want to go to file explorer and just drag the plugin into the plugins folder and then you should have the jar file now you can execute this pretty sure um, yeah you can't execute this it's not necessary okay so um, basically that's the first plugin Next plugin we're going to get is script. So you basically just want to search for script plugin. Or go in the link in the description. It should be a GitHub link. You just want to click on script.jar. I already have a lot of them. So I'm just going to get the one from the downloads. So then you go downloads. script for example the first one so we're just going to get this in and we have script 2 next one we're going to get the plugin lock perms you can go on lockperms.net which is actually kind of cool because on lockperms um, you basically have all in one you can also manage all your service and stuff but yeah you just want to download it click here on the download button uh, go on uh, bucket 
speak of it's for paper and everything and then download it uh, I already have it too so I'm just gonna drag it in from my downloads remember all of those will be in the description down below next plugin is gonna be essentials you can just go to essentials dot uh, yeah essentials x right here and click here on essentials x dot net slash downloads and then you want to download the uh, stable releases um, this one uh, Essentials X, normal one. I already have it too. It's uh, right here. Um, Essentials X. And you want to get the Essentials X spoon. I already have it too. It's highly recommended to get it because you can make like slash spoon and all that um, by yourself. Next plugin we're going to get is a combat lock plugin. So I'm just going to search for combat lock plugin. I'm going to choose the first one I see combat lock X it's actually pretty good so I'm just gonna download it it's a .zip file because there are probably two jar files actually no there's only one but yeah we're just gonna um, you're just gonna drag the .jar file into here as well um, basically yeah that's it so the folder you just don't worry about the folder just get the .jar um, next up like the folder will be automatically created that's why Next up, we're going to get a tab plugin. I'm going to choose, uh, like, this one is pretty cool because you can customize it completely. Uh, it's pretty cool, yeah. Um, but you can pretty much do anything, like, yeah. I don't like this, it's a, bot a lot, yeah, too bad, but yeah, tab plugin. It's actually the same thing, so, um, Yeah, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to the MC Market link. You're going to log in for that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that on my second monitor real quick. So you won't be seeing this. Haha, <laughs> OBS. Yeah, you won't be seeing this. Um... Uh, register now for free. So you just register, enter your uh, username, like Ender P email. You need to make sure that you have access to the email because you will get a verification notice just in case. Of course, it would be with a hacked one or something. So you just register like this. Um, yeah, I know you can't see it. And you then go to your Gmail or something and just confirm your email there. Okay, as you can see, my email is now successful. So now, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go, um, oops, oop. I'm going to go, um, search for the tab plugin again, and I'm going to go to the, yeah, tab plugin, I'm going to go to the MC Market link, and because I'm registered, I can just click here on download, and it will download the jar. I think this is a very good plugin, so I would also recommend you to download it. The link for the Mar MC Market will be in the description down below. Um, yeah, Oop, just drag it in, whatever. Um, now, next plugin we're gonna get is Shopkeepers. You wanna go on Shopkeepers bucket plugin, download the latest file, 
shopkeepers, put it in like that. You're also going to get item edit. It's a very good plugin. And I think we forgot one thing uh, Lock Perms Chat. So we're going to go back Lock Perms Chat. Um, LPC chat formatter. Um, you just download this. LPC. LPC is Lock Perms Chat, by the way, if you're asking. And yeah, that's pretty much the necessary, required things. No, I've actually forgot some things. Uh, fast async world edit it's just way better and yeah just download it from this um, fast async world edit just download that and boom so that was it with the first part on how to create a box server on Minehunt. Um, this video just covered the plugins and actually making the server. In the next video we're actually going to enter our server, which is really cool. So um, yeah, we have our plugins set up. All the links for the plugins will be in the description down below. With that being said, I hope you're having a great day and see you.